A lot of people know Mount Hagoro from the western Tsuruoka side, and who could really blame them? Mount Hagoro is gorgeous. Starting with a descent from the Zuishimon gates, the path takes you on a real journey. The 2446 step stone stairway amongst the sprawling cedar forest, the Haraigawa River, Suganotaki Falls, the Grandfather Cedar, and of course the amazing five story pagoda is a must see if you come to this part of Japan. Keep following the stairway up, and there are heaps of places to explore, such as the Ninosaka Tea House, Saikan in the former Kezoin Temple, and of course, Sanjingo Saiden. Home to Dewa Sanzan Shrine at the top of Mount Hagoro. Not to mention, this site is also home to the Shukobogai, the Pilgrim Lodge Village. This is where Daishobo Pilgrim Lodge, run by Master Hoshino, is, and is the start of many of our Yamabushi trainings. And who could forget the Garden Temple Gyokusenji, the Soto Zen Buddhist temple that is one of the best spots in the world to enjoy a cup of green tea. Needless to say, this side of Mount Hagro deserves all the accolades it can get. So I was very surprised to learn that this side of Mount Hagro is only half the story. There's another side of Mount Hagro that you hardly ever get to see in the guidebooks, the eastern side. And in fact, the eastern side of this mystical peak may in fact lay claim to being the original. And so I set out with my Yamabushi partner Tuck to explore the hidden side of Mount Hagro. Good morning. Tim here. We're about to climb the old road up to the top of Mount Hagoro. It's called the Hagoro Kodo. Thankfully, this sign tells me in English where I am, but that's the only English on the sign for some reason. This place is called Tachiazawa. There's a river that runs the length of this valley, and it meets down at the Mogami River. Legend has it that in 592, following the assassination of his father, Emperor Sushun, Prince Hachiko escaped the capital and headed north in search of Kannon Bosatsu, the Buddhist goddess of mercy, who had been spotted on Mount Hagro. Prince Hachiko sailed north on the Sea of Japan and arrived at Yura on Tsuruoka's southern coast, a spot I visited very recently climbing Mount Arakura. Prince Hachiko came here to begin ascetic training in the name of salvation for the people, under the watchful eye of the mystical three-legged crow, a common theme in Japanese mythology. Prince Hachiko's ascetic practice led him to Mount Hagoro, where he came across Hagoro Gongen, the deity of the mountain. This eventually led to the founding of the Dewa Sanzan as a religious ground, which has obviously had a profound impact on the surrounding area for centuries, millennia even. From what I read, Prince Hachiko, when he came to the Dewa Sanzan and he began ascetic training, he oh. came, this is where he came first. This area we're about to go to, I've never been there. Mm. This area we're about to go to. Mm -hmm. Apparently there, there were around 500 buildings here in the mountains. Shukobo temples and okay. the, the main temple mm -hmm. uh, for Mount Hagoro. And people would travel from Mogami River, walk up this way and then go up Mount I Hagoro. See. Mm. I see. Well, this, is, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this forest. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is the Jizo song that they were talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Subeno. Ah, uh, yes. Subeno Koen. Migi. This area is called Subeno. This is where Prince Hachiko is said to have originally come before he founded the Dewa Sanzan. Which is a bit odd because it's the opposite side of the mountain from where he would have came. So I don't exactly believe the legend of Prince Hachiko, but yeah, this is what this is how they explain it. It would be uh, possible though, because the, when the prince uh, arrived in mm. the area, yeah. um, I assume the plane, plane field, oh. plane field in the uh, Shonai region, yeah. or kind of swamp. They said that there is the like remains of a small pond here that was used 
for the temple, the, for the shrine building. I see. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there would have been, it said that there were buildings oh, here, about 500. Uh -huh. Sounds a bit unbelievable, but mm. I mean, this is what? Muromachi Jidai, so it's like mm. 700 years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. I assume the first kanji character mm. uh, expressed royalty. Mm. Uh, so, mm -hmm. means I guess uh, the monument mm. of spirit of uh, ro ro royalty. Somebody who worked for uh, the prince, oh. uh, I guess, mm -hmm. will, be the, will be for the uh, Prince Hachiko. Mm. Mm, the first character. Mm. It could be his yeah. like, servant or something. Mm, I guess. Mm. I've heard of um, oh. hidden tumble, hidden rice fields in the middle of the forest, and I've heard I heard there were some here uh -huh. as well. So this could be an ancient hidden rice field that people they use it to hide their harvest, so they don't have to pay taxes on it. Of course, now we have satellites, so <laughs> we can see where they are, but or like a drone or something. But yeah. It's hard to imagine. This is the same Mount Hagoro. Mm. <laughs> right. Feels right, completely right. different. different. Completely different. Yeah. Hagoro Tozan Do. Mm. So I guess. So I guess this is the right way. There might be some bears here, and this is how Yamabushi scare off the bears. So today you are the master. Okay. <laughs> so quiet. Wow. So I've been up Mount Hagoro probably more than a hundred times, I think. I went yesterday even. I've never been up from this side, so yeah, it's pretty cool. That's not true. I have been up from this side. There's a waterfall down there called Wotaki Waterfall that we go to during the university training. Um, so, but I've never been up the old Hagoro Road. Yeah, it's amazing that it's the same Mount Hagoro because the your image of Mount Hagoro is just the stone stairway. But there's also this old old road. I say this a lot, but it reminded me of New Zealand because of the the greenery. But it's been it's been really good. Nice relaxing walk. And we haven't been rain on either. <laughs> Mm. 
This does not feel like Hakurosan. <laughs> but it is. Yeah. Older. Older. That's why people call it old pack. Yeah. Thank you. Gnarly. Yep, I know where we are. So we just came up this way. I never knew this path existed. Been living in this area for more than 10 years. And I've come up to this particular cemetery at least 20 times. <laughs> Didn't know there was a path there. It's extremely rare. Actually, it's, it's unheard of, basically, to have a cemetery in a Shinto shrine. Because death in Shintoism is taboo. It's to be avoided. Um, and so Japanese people leave the death rites, the rituals and things about death up to Buddhist monks, which is one big reason why the, the Buddhist purge failed during the major restoration. So the reason why Mount Hagura has a cemetery like this is because it wasn't always a Shinto shrine. It was a Buddhist sanctuary until the major restoration about 150 years ago. I made a, a video all about this. I'll add a link. Originally Buddhist mountain and then, well, you could say originally ancient Shinto mountain. This, this here, this building, this is called the Reisai Den. It's where the spirits of the ancestors are dedicated or prayed to, worship. That's a big part of Japanese culture as well, the respecting the, the ancestors. It's said that our souls, when we pass away, this is called Kanabi Shinko. They travel, they do their own form of shugyo training on the mountains, starting off with the low-lying mountains. Then um, over 33 years, they are guided by 13 Buddha as they make their way up to the top of the tallest mountain in the region. For us, that's Mount Gasan. And once they reach the top of Mount Gasa, after 33 years, they turn into kami gods. So this is uh, entirely Shinbutsu Shugo, so the amalgamation of Shintoism and Buddhism. I didn't know this was here until Tuck kindly pointed it out to me, but this post is uh, in memory of the those who lost their lives during the tsunami and earthquake, earthquake and tsunami in 2011. It is believed that the ancestors who are worshipped turn into good gods and the ancestors that aren't turn into gods that bring evil. That is why Yamabushi pray for the lives of those lost to natural disasters. If you've been basically anywhere in Japan as well, you would have seen these Jizo statues. It's probably the most common Buddha in Japan, I would guess, Jizo Sama. Jizo was a Buddha, is a Buddha who protects the lives of travelers including those who have passed. By looking after the Jizo statues in this life, people believe that Jizo will look after them when they pass. This is Sanjin Gosai Den, literally the collective whole of the three gods because this is where, during winter, when we can't access Mount Gastan or Mount Yudono, they bring the gods here on the top of Mount Hagoro. And so, yeah, this is Dewasan San Shrine. Um, and the building is called Sanjin Gosai Den. That's the thickest thatch roof in Japan. It's two and a half meters thick. And they spend each year, they fix one side. And so it takes four years to, to repair it, and they just keep going around and around, repairing it each year. So last year they were doing the front, and thankfully it means that we can see it now. And on the left, they're doing it now. <laughs> this small pond here, it's called Kagami Ike, the lake or pond of mirrors, because they used to people would come and they would donate these mirrors, bronze mirrors, into this pond. And actually there's one uh, bronze mirror in the 
British Museum and there's one, I think it was in the, somewhere in New York, I'll have to check, but which means that they were actually st stolen and sold on the black market, otherwise they wouldn't have been able to get there. So I, uh, I'm a bit hesitant to show you these parts because they're meant to be a secret. <laughs> Maybe? But I think like you can find them if you come, but I'm not going to tell you where they are. Oh, this way. So secret, even I don't know where they are. Mm. This is the remains of something, don't know. I remember seeing a sign around here somewhere and it said the remains of a hotel. Yes. Yeah. Hagoro Hotel. Yeah. Mm. Oh, here we go. Hagoro Hotel Ato. So the remains of the Hagoro Hotel. And it looks like there hasn't been a hotel here for maybe 50 or so years or so. <laughs> the Hagoro Hotel. Who wants to stay there? Do you want to stay there? But we made it down here to Otaki, Otaki, Otaki Shrine. Um, so this is Otaki Shrine. And over there, there's a waterfall. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see Mount Haguro for yourself, be sure to check out my guide at timbunting.com slash Haguro. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the trails. I can't do that, that's Quinlan's. Thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs>